Hi guys, it's me again, Nature. I'm gonna show you how to make this nice drink that I have here. I make it when I'm outside in the garden so I don't pass out. Very hot out there, it's like 90 degrees if I'm not mistaken. So right now, I have here some frozen things here because I have a, a lot of room in my freezer to put frozen things. So instead of buying fresh stuff and I don't use it in time and it goes bad and I waste my money, I get a lot of things frozen. You can go to any store and get your frozen fruits and vegetables. I go to Trader Joe's sometimes, but I don't feel like driving all the way out there. I'll go to Key Food, not Key Food, I'm not in New York. I'll go to uh, Walmart. So I got here some chopped spinach. Okay. Oh no, that was kale. <laughs> I got the kale there. I got too many staples in this thing to try and keep it closed and fresh. I'm not throwing a lot in my freezer. So I got some spinach here, chopped spinach. Okay. And last time I put cherries and pineapples. I don't have any more pineapples. So I'm gonna put mangoes. So I put like four chunks of mango. Maybe I'll put another one. Give a little bit more mango flavor. Okay? And then of course you're gonna staple all these back. I don't know if you guys have time to watch me staple, but you could uh, fast forward if you like. But I'll have to staple these back because I do not want this spilling out. Have you ever had chopped spinach spill in your freezer? You make such a mess trying to clean it out. All right, so those three things are stapled. I like to clean as I work. Sorry, guys, I do not work uh, and keep working until the kitchen is no longer have space. I don't do that. I clean and work. All right, guys, so that's done right there. And uh, you can add some cherries or some strawberries if you like. I had some cherries around here. I don't know if I still have them. Cherries, where are Okay, I got a couple of cherries here. Yep, and I stapled this one too. <laughs> I guess I just want to keep everything closed. All right? So I got some cherries here. I got these from Walmart too, some organic cherries. Try to get your stuff organic, guys. It's better for you. Because if you make these drinks a lot, and God forbid, They've been using pesticides to, to keep the bugs off of them. Then you're eating a lot of stuff that has pesticides in it. You don't want to do that. So that defeats the purpose of eating healthy. You're going to eat everything that has pesticides in it. All right, so now I filled my freezer too big. Can I close it? Nope, I can't close it. Anyway, on with the show. I'll take some spring water here. Make sure it's cold. Fill it up to where the line says fill it up, okay? There is a line here somewhere. I always keep this out because mine comes out too thick and then I have to dilute it with that because if not, I won't be able to um, sip it through the straw. So I'm gonna, uh, you know what? You guys don't have to do this, but I add a little honey to mine. Why? I don't know why. I just add honey to mine, okay? I think the cherries and the mango make it sweet, but for some reason, I just feel like I need to put it in there, all right? And I'll put a little bit more water, all right? All right, then we will close this up. Some people hate, like, greens, the taste of greens, because it has, like, a little bitter taste, sometimes a little aftertaste, so that honey would kick that off for you. You won't have to worry about that. Tighten that up in here. And... Hold it. I always hold mine on the top. on the bottom so I'm gonna mix it up like that 
Since I see a little bit of green, and it is thick. I mean thick. So I'll put it back on for about 10 seconds. There you go, your nice thick green machine smoothie. I call it green machine because they got a green drink in New York called Green Machine. But they add green apple, kiwi, and I think they add um, cucumber. So you can add all those things and do not add any orange from the mango or any red from the cherry. See how thick this is? Look at this. <laughs> Look, that's how thick it is. <laughs> So what I do is, like I told you, it's thick. I always put the rest of the water in. My dad told me to squash these up like this and then you can fit more in your trash can so when you recycle. Just smash your water bottle and put the top back on and throw it in the trash. Instead of fitting 10 bottles in the garbage, you'll be able to fit 20. Okay, I'll mix this up. Because it has water in it now, and I'll make it looser than it was before. Of course, I can close it back and blend it. But do I need to use more electricity just to do that? No. Do it with my hand. All right, guys. Now it's thick, but it's not really standing up thick. You know? And then, let's see. Ooh, that's, that's not sweet, though. You don't have to have it sweet. You don't have to have it sweet. Usually I put honey in it and it makes it a little bit sweeter, but not today. All right, this is nice and thick. I'm happy about this. Yeah, I taste, I taste a lot of peach. Last time I taste cherry because I forgot I had cherries. So I made it a little bit tangy. This one is a little bit bland because there's no uh, tang to it. There's nothing to make it tangy. I put like, what, four cherries in it? And that's because it was already full. I have more veggies in it than anything. So I couldn't uh, fill it up with um, cherries. Which is what you want while you're out there in that garden. Because right now, all right, I watered and fertilized the grass. But now I'm out there pruning. So while I'm pruning the roses, I'll be out there in the sun. Not in the, not directly in the sun. The sun is not on my side yet. But um, once you're drinking something this amount, I think this could be 20 ounces or more. This could be, I don't know. It's, I think this is a little bit more than 20 ounces. But it's green. You know what I'm saying? Spinach. Kale. Mangoes and cherries. And some honey. To not be able to taste the bitter okay guys so that's all i wanted to tell you guys is how to make a, a nice healthy drink when you're out there in the sun okay so you don't pass out thank you for watching take care and again this is nature give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you'll see more healthy drinks and healthy breakfasts take care now bye